All right, I'm gonna do a little quick rotor flight tuning video here at the request of someone on the Discord group. So I actually have already done one pack through this and I tuned <clears throat> one of the other profiles, but I'm just gonna basically go over it again at the same head speed in another profile. And I will apologize in advance, the motor that's in this old Mini Protos is really, really tired, so it doesn't hold head speed very well. Uh, we can compensate for that somewhat in the governor, but basically the motor's just tired, kind of like me. So here we go. This is 2,500 uh, stock default PIDs, and this is what it looks like. I really like how, how the spool up is done with the rotor flight governor. It's really good. So that's in airplane mode. Oops, my receiver came loose. I should probably fix that. But before I do, you can see that it's just kind of, I mean, it's flying, but the tail is kind of wandery and the cyclic is kind of, can't really see that it's vague, but it's kind of vague. So we're gonna set that down. We're gonna stick my receiver back on and then we're gonna make some adjustments to the pits. So we're gonna disarm and gonna stick that little receiver back on there. Guess I'm gonna have to use a strap around it. All right. Now, I'm hoping that you guys will be able to see this. I'm gonna squat down in the shade here and raise this up. So, uh, this is the profile I'm in. See, stock gains 50 on the P, 100 on the I, 10 on the D. I already know from previous experience with this model and with others that I can go up to easily 90 because I've already got my filters set. We're going to go 95, 95. And on the yaw, we're going to go 90. And on the eye, we're gonna bring that up to 85. I also know that I like a little more feed forward. We're gonna bring that to 110 on, on cyclic. And boost, I like at 20. Makes it pretty snappy. And we're going to save this page. I still don't know if y'all are able to see that, but I'm narrating so you can follow along. Um, we're going to also look at the governor profile. And we're going to bring up the collective pre-comp 50 points because that'll help a little holding the head speed. Okay. I'm going to rearm, turn on the motor. We're going to hope the receiver stays attached and doesn't dangle. It weighs like two grams, so it's not like it's going to pull itself out. Yep, it already came loose again. Okay, the tail is better. We can probably bring up the stop gains a little bit. Cyclic is definitely better. See, that's already very flyable. The thing that makes it feel better, well, other than just bringing up the gains so it's a little more locked in, is also the rates. And I already know what I like for rates, so they're already set. Yep. Now you can hear the head speed dip this poor motor is just so old and tired. It could also be that this speed controller, it's a YGE, an old, old, old YGE, MSH branded. Uh, it might not really work well with an external governor, now that I think about that. 
so maybe I'll put it into its own governor mode later and play with it. But, as you can see, this is clearly already pretty darn good. I'm hesitant to do a whole lot of throwing it around with that receiver dangling underneath it like that. It doesn't look like it can get into the rotor blades, so there we go, that's good. I'm going to switch back to the other profile that I had finished tuning. That's at a lower head speed. I think that's 2200. Which is great for just putzing around in the yard like this. That's really all there is. I mean, you can get real scientific and um, use the black box logs and look at your set points and all that stuff. I don't know how to do that. So I just set the RPM filters per the tutorial in rotor flight. And then I come out here and fly it and adjust things to till it feels the way I want. And honestly, I think that's the best way to do it because it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks about how it feels, it's how it feels to you that matters. And this is pretty good. As soon as I fix that receiver that's dangling underneath. Anyway, that's it. I'm just going to keep it short. I just wanted to kind of share my methodology for tuning and show that it's, that it's perfectly flyable with the default PIDs and filters and it just takes a little bit of tweaking to get it really dialed in because this is as good as this old bird's ever flown and I've had her for over 10 years just refuses to die <laughs> all right and there we go hope that was helpful